Hey guys, this is Technology Mafia, and today I am doing an unboxing and quick overview of this lens that a lot of you viewers and subscribers requested on this channel. So I went ahead and bought it. It is a Sigma 30mm f1.4. This is the DCDN contemporary lens for the Sony E mount system. So let's take a look at what's inside the box. So here's the box the lens comes in, as you can see, plain white box, Sigma 30mm f1.4 DCDN, contemporary, interchangeable lens, there's a sticker here that says for Sony E. That is it for the box. Open it up, let's see, we have limited warranty card, more warranty stickers, how to, instructions, and that's it for the box, the lens. So it's in this egg carton looking thing. And here's the lens. So you have a lens hood that comes with, you can see there. And the lens itself. Shorter than I expected. The pictures make this lens look even bigger than it is. It's not that bad actually. So I'll do a size comparison. You can see how big the opening is right there. Made in Japan on the front. 30 millimeter 1.4 DCDN and 52 millimeter filter size. 016. I don't know what that's about. Minimum focusing distance is about a foot. Made in Japan. It's the C for the contemporary. Um, this is ridged rubber. And then the focusing ring here is very smooth. So this is the Sigma lens up close hopefully in some better light for you. Let me give you a tour. Overall build quality is very impressive. It's mostly rubberized plastic. I don't know that it's metal, but it is very solidly put together. You could see that the mounting side is metal. You have your connections. Let me remove this cap. You could see the into the blades there. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. For size comparison, here it is next to the kit lens. So you could see it is quite a bit longer. Maybe twice and a little bit more. So if you are planning to travel with this lens, it will take up a little bit more space in your gear bag. Now I should preface this overview by saying that I wasn't very excited about purchasing this lens because I had the Sony SEL35, in fact that's the lens that I'm using to record this video right now, and I was perfectly happy with it. However, first impressions, this lens is really nice. I am overall very, very impressed so far with the sample images that I've taken, and the sample video even looks good. I'd say that this lens behaves almost like a native lens, more so than any other non-native E-mount lens that I've ever tested on the Sony a6000. So let's take a look at some of the sample photos right now.
the sample images look really good. I'm very much looking forward to doing a side-by-side -side comparison between this Sigma lens and the 35mm f1.8 from Sony. So stay tuned for a future video in which I will review both of these lenses, comparing which one is sharper, which one has better bokeh, which one is better in video, has better autofocus, and all of that fun stuff. Thank you for all the support, and if you aren't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe down below. See you in the next video. Thanks, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.